Hi everybody, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a seamless repeat pattern in Procreate. I start by uh, opening a canvas that's about 3000 by 3000 pixels, and then I turn on the drawing guide um, and max it to its biggest size. So that way you only have those two lines right there that you see in the center rather than a grid. And now what I'm doing is I am adding um, dots, which are my elements for this pattern. And I'm only adding them along those lines, those intersecting lines right now, because eventually those will become the edges of the pattern. And when you separate it, you want them to match up perfectly. So only keeping those along those lines. And you can move your elements to be as close to the edge as you want, but you have to make sure that they do not cross the edge. So right here where you can see I'm zooming in and I'm making sure that I'm getting really close to the edge um, without touching the edge. So I'm going to turn uh, snapping off and that way I can move it a little bit more freely. And there we go. And I'm just going to keep adding more dots um, along those lines in um, these differing colors just until I'm happy with it. And then I'm going to show you how we're going to create this seamless repeat. Okay, so now I'm going to change my color to black, and I need to change my brush. I have it on a spaced out monoline. Now this is just a normal monoline. And I'm going to add these marks to the corners of the canvas, and then duplicate that single layer four times. Um, and now I'm going to turn snapping back on, and I'm going to move each individual layer to a separate corner. Now, no resizing, just moving it to a separate corner. And uh, as you can see, I wait until I see these yellow lines to make sure that they're perfectly matched up. And so once I have all four layers moved, I'm going to combine those top four layers. And then I erase those leftover marks that I had in the corner. And those marks were just to make sure that everything moved as a perfect square um, and encompass the entire canvas. And now I'm just gonna keep adding dots um, like I did before, right where I want them. Um, to kind of create the rest of the pattern. Um, and same thing that I said before, you don't want to touch the edges of your canvas here. So just keep adding in these blank spaces right now. And I try to be conscious of where I'm putting my dots. I don't want clusters of the same color dot. Um, so I try to put, you know, red dots a little bit farther apart, yellow dots not right next to each other. You don't want a cluster of three red dots right next to each other or a cluster of pink dots right next to each other. You want to kind of keep them spaced out so it looks a little bit more random. And I'm just going to finish up this and then I will show you how you can check your repeats. And it's funny, as I watch this video, um, I realize how aggressive I am with my Apple Pencil when I tap, but you know, it's okay. Okay, so now I'm happy with where all my dots are and I'm going to combine those two layers so I have the edge and those middle dots that I just made I'm going to combine them both and then I'm going to duplicate that original layer four times and then turn that original off so I only have four copies and then with each copy I am going to resize it down to fit into the four quadrants of our canvas and with snapping still on so you will be able to see those yellow lines to make sure they match up perfectly and now I'm going to repeat that step I'm going to combine those four quadrants to make one layer and then duplicate that four more times and then I'm going to resize those four copies again and size them down so I can see my pattern um, a little bit more zoomed out and just see how I like the overall look of it. Now all I need to do is turn my drawing guide off and there's your repeat pattern. Thank you so much for watching.